Do you ever wonder if your plant-based diet is giving you everything that you need? In this episode, we expose the inconvenient truth about B12 and why it's the key biological mandate for the carnivore diet. Join me as I explore human evolution, the critical role of B12, the myths of supplementation, and why a diet rich in animal products is not just an option, it's a requirement for human survival. It's past time to reject the myths. The diet dogma dies now, right here on the Carnivore Science Channel. Today we're tackling a topic that's guaranteed to stir the pot, challenge conventional wisdom, and maybe even change the way you look at your dinner plate. We're discussing the only diet that campaigns for world peace by starting a thousand online protests. Veganism. Freeze! Vegan police! Vegan police! Todd Ingram, you're under arrest for veganity violation. Code number 827. Five and a half and a half. It's bull roar. No vegan diet, no vegan powers. Now, before you click away or start a riot outside my virtual window, please hear me out. I'm not here to demonize anybody's personal choices. Hey, I'm like, you do you, man. But I just want to arm you with scientific facts and some evolutionary insight that the vegan lobby would rather you never try to Google. It all comes down to one tiny essential vitamin, a nutrient so powerful that without it, you'd be less of a human and more like a fiber-filled zombie with regular bowel movements. We're going to expose what I call the B12 betrayal. Why the lack of this single vital nutrient in plant foods isn't just a challenge for vegans, it's a fundamental flaw in the very premise of the purely plant-based human diet. We're diving deep into the carnivore code, human evolution, and why B12 is the molecule that finally ends the debate about our species-appropriate diet. For years, veganism has been touted as the pinnacle of ethical, environmental, and even optimal human health. We've seen documentaries, read books, and heard countless testimonials about the benefits of a plant-based lifestyle. Lower cholesterol, reduced risk of heart disease, environmental sustainability, and of course, animal welfare. And on the surface, these arguments sound incredibly compelling. And honestly, for those who adopt this lifestyle because they feel they must in order to respect the life of animals, I have great respect for that. I mean, to be fair, if most of us had to personally kill our own food, while I do it knowing what I know about nutrition, let's just say it's a whole different scenario than grabbing a pack of hamburger meat at the store. So I get it. Besides, for most people, it's just easier to maintain a diet where the moral high ground comes included. That relentless, don't you feel bad about eating that, guilt trip absolutely works. But millions of people worldwide have adopted this way of eating, believing that they're making the healthiest and most responsible choice for themselves and the planet. But what if there's a critical piece of the puzzle missing? A piece that's so fundamental to our biology that ignoring it could have profound long-term consequences. This isn't about shaming. This is about truth and optimal human function. So let's get straight into the biggest, most undeniable reason why a purely plant-based diet is fundamentally inferior. And frankly, it's unsustainable for long-term human health without significant intervention. It's the vitamin B12 issue. Here's the absolute non-negotiable truth. Vitamin B12 is not naturally found in plants. Let me repeat that for emphasis. It is not naturally found in plant foods. This isn't some minor detail, it's a colossal evolutionary roadblock. B12 is produced by certain bacteria, primarily found in soil and in the guts of animals. When animals graze, they ingest these bacteria and then the B12 accumulates in their tissues, in their muscles, in their organs, in their milk and in their eggs. When we consume these animal products, we get our B12. It's a beautiful, natural cycle that's sustained life, including human life, for millions of years. So if B12 isn't in plants, and humans absolutely need B12 to survive and thrive, 
then how could we possibly have evolved as a species if we were truly vegan from the beginning? The answer is simple. We couldn't have. It's an evolutionary paradox that vegan proponents often gloss over. Okay, so we've established that B12 isn't found in plants, but why the extreme claim? Why is it that this is a nutrient that we literally can't live without? Well, the simple truth is that B12 is not playing around. It's the unnegotiable co-pilot involved in the most fundamental processes that keep the body functioning. Think of it less of a simple vitamin and more of the master switch for life itself. If this switch fails, everything from your energy to your nervous system starts to break down. Here are just a few of its indispensable roles. Number one, red blood cell formation. B12 is absolutely crucial for the production of healthy red blood cells. Without enough B12, your body can't produce enough fully functional red blood cells, leading to a condition called megaloblastic anemia. This means your blood can't effectively carry oxygen to your tissues and organs. Imagine feeling constantly tired, weak, short of breath. That's anemia, and B12 deficiency is a major cause. Number two, nervous system function. This is perhaps where B12's role is most dramatic. B12 is essential for the maintenance of the myelin sheath, the protective layer that surrounds your nerve fibers. Think of myelin as the insulation around an electrical wire. Without it, the electrical signals in your brain and throughout your nervous system can't transmit efficiently. This can lead to a horrifying array of neurological problems. Numbness, tingling, difficulty walking, memory loss, confusion, depression, even irreversible nerve damage and cognitive decline. It's not just about feeling a little bit off. It can be truly devastating. Number three. DNA synthesis. B12 plays a vital role in the synthesis of DNA, the genetic material in all your cells. This means it's involved in cell growth, repair, and replication throughout your entire body. Every single cell in your body needs B12 to function properly. Number four, energy metabolism. While not directly providing energy, B12 is a cofactor in the metabolic pathways that convert food into energy. A deficiency can leave you feeling chronically fatigued and lethargic. So when I say that we would die without it, I mean it. Severe prolonged B12 deficiency can lead to irreversible neurological damage, heart problems, and ultimately a premature death. It's not an exaggeration, it's a medical fact. Now let's tie this back to evolution. If B12 is so crucial and it's only found in animal products, then how on earth could humans have evolved to be the apex predator of this planet if we were vegan from the beginning? The answer, again, is we could not have. Think about it. Our ancestors didn't have fortified cereals or B12 supplements or Walgreens. They had to get their nutrients from the environment. And the archaeological record overwhelmingly supports the fact that early humans were highly successful hunters and gatherers, with a significant emphasis on the hunting part. We have evidence of sophisticated hunting tools, butchered animal bones at ancient sites, and most compellingly, our own biology points to a diet rich in animal foods. Let's look at three areas that define us our anatomy, our intelligence, and our dental structure. Number one, our digestive system. Unlike true herbivores who have a long, complex digestive tract designed to ferment large amounts of fibrous plant matter, think multiple stomachs and ruminants, humans have a relatively short digestive tract and a highly acidic stomach, perfectly suited for breaking down and absorbing nutrients from animal proteins and fats. We don't have the enzymatic machinery to extract sufficient nutrients from raw, unprocessed plant matter alone. Number two, our brain size. The incredible growth of the human brain, which sets us apart from other primates, is widely attributed by many scientists to a diet rich in nutrient-dense animal foods, particularly animal fats and organs. These provided the concentrated energy and specific nutrients, like B12, choline, and DHA, necessary for brain development. A diet of tubers and leaves simply wouldn't have provided the caloric or micronutrient density to fuel such a massive evolutionary leap. 
Number three, our teeth. While we have some flat molars, our incisors and canines are clearly designed for tearing and biting meat, not just grinding fibrous plants. The idea that early humans were vegan is a modern fantasy completely contradicted by scientific evidence. We evolved eating meat, and that's how we obtained our essential B12. To deny this is to deny our own history and our own biology. So if vegans can't get B12 from plants, then what do they do? Well, the answer, of course, is supplementation. And this is where the B12 betrayal comes into focus. Because relying on supplementation to obtain a nutrient that's fundamental to human life itself, well, that just highlights the inherent deficiency of the diet. Vegans have to supplement with B12 or consume B12-fortified foods or they'll become deficient and sick. There's no escaping it. This alone should raise a red flag. If a diet requires you to artificially add a vital nutrient, can it truly be considered natural or optimal for humans? But it's not just about the need for supplementation. It's about the quality and efficacy of that supplementation compared to naturally occurring B12 in food. Let's talk about the different forms of B12 that you're going to find in supplements. Number one, cyanocobalamin. This is the most common and cheapest form of B12 in supplements and fortified foods. It's a synthetic form, not naturally found in the human body. The cyano part refers to a cyanide molecule. Now before you panic, the amount of cyanide is tiny and generally considered harmless, even though I wouldn't want to eat it. However, your body has to convert the cyanocobalamin into the active forms of B12, methylcobalamin and adenosylcobalamin, which require metabolic energy and enzymatic processes. For some individuals, particularly those with genetic variations, like MTHFR gene mutations, which we'll discuss in a moment, this conversion process can be inefficient. Number two, methylcobalamin. This is one of the two active coenzyme forms of B12 in the human body. It's often considered a superior supplemental form because it doesn't require conversion. It plays a crucial role in methylation processes, which are vital for detoxification, mood regulation, and gene expression. Number three, adenosylcobalamin. This is the other active coenzyme form of B12, and it's often overlooked. Adenosylcobalamin is primarily found in the mitochondria of our cells, where it plays a key role in energy production from fats and amino acids. Many B12 supplements are methylcobalamin heavy, neglecting this equally important form. Number four, hydroxocobalamin. This is another natural form of B12 often found in injections and can be converted by the body into the active coenzyme forms. And back to the MTHFR gene mutation. For some people, even taking supplements isn't a guarantee of absorption or utilization. This is particularly true when we look at genetic variations like the MTHFR gene mutation. As previously mentioned, an MTHFR gene mutation can make it harder to process certain B12 supplements compared to the natural active forms of B12 found in food. For people with an MTHFR mutation, the B12 from food sources like meat, fish, eggs, and dairy is often easier to process and utilize because it's already in a bioactive or active form. When you consume B12 from animal foods, you're not only getting cyanocobalamin or only getting methylcobalamin, you're getting a complex matrix of naturally occurring B12 forms. The main forms being methylcobalamin, adenosylcobalamin, and hydroxylcobalamin in their natural ratios, along with all the synergistic cofactors, proteins, and fats that enhance its absorption and utilization. Some key factors to consider are bioavailability. B12 from whole foods is often more bioavailable and effectively utilized by the body because it comes bound to proteins and is released gradually during digestion, allowing for optimal absorption. You're getting the complete package when you eat a piece of meat or an egg. You're not just getting B12. You're getting iron, zinc, creatine, carnitine, choline, and a host of other vital nutrients that work together. Supplements isolate nutrients, and while sometimes necessary, they rarely replicate the complex synergy of whole foods. No conversion issues. Your body doesn't need to perform metabolic gymnastics to convert synthetic forms into active ones. It's already in the most usable forms. Relying solely on supplements is like trying to fix a complex machine with only one type of wrench. 
It might work for a little while, but it's rarely as efficient or comprehensive as having the full toolkit. So if you want to ensure optimal B12 status without relying on pills, where do you get it? The answer is simple and it aligns perfectly with our evolutionary history, animal products. Here are some of the absolute B12 powerhouses. Number one, liver, especially beef liver. This is the king of B12. Ounce for ounce, beef liver contains an astonishing amount of B12. Just a small serving can provide several thousand percent of your daily recommended intake. It's truly nature's multivitamin, packed with other essential nutrients like iron, folate, and vitamin A. Number two, red meat, beef, lamb, and venison. High quality red meats are excellent sources of B12. A serving of steak can easily provide over 100% of your daily B12. Number three, clams and oysters. These shellfish are also incredibly rich in B12 along with other trace minerals like zinc. Number four, fish, salmon, tuna, sardines. Fatty fish are not only great for omega-3s but also provide a substantial amount of B12. Number five, eggs. Whole eggs are a good source, particularly the yolk. While not as concentrated as liver, a few eggs can contribute significantly to your daily intake. Number six, dairy products milk, cheese, and yogurt. These also contain B12, although generally in lower concentrations compared to meat and organs. However, if consumed regularly, they can contribute. The beauty of the carnivore diet, or even just a well-formulated, animal-heavy, omnivorous diet, is that you get abundant, highly bioavailable B12 naturally, without having to think about it. Your body's designed to absorb and utilize it from these sources effectively. It's nutrition the way that nature intended. While B12 gets the headlines, it's important to remember that it's also one piece in a much larger puzzle. The inherent B12 deficiency in a plant-based diet speaks to a larger truth. Animal foods are simply more nutrient-dense and provide a wider spectrum of essential nutrients that are either poorly absorbed or just non-existent in plants. Consider this list of crucial nutrients, many of which are difficult or impossible to obtain adequately without consuming animal products. Heme iron, much more bioavailable than non-heme iron from plants. Creatine, essential for muscle and brain function, only found in meat. Carnosine, a powerful antioxidant, only found in meat. Choline, crucial for brain health, abundant in eggs and liver. Vitamin K2, important for bone and heart health, found in animal fats. Retinol, which is true vitamin A, found in liver and eggs. Plants only contain carotenoids, which must be converted, often inefficiently. The carnivore diet isn't just about B12. It's about embracing a nutritional philosophy that aligns with our evolutionary biology, providing a complete and highly bioavailable nutrient profile that allows the human body to truly thrive, not just survive on supplementation. So there you have it, the B12 betrayal. A stark reminder that while intentions behind a dietary choice can be noble, biology doesn't negotiate. While humans possess the capability to consume a wide variety of foods, the evidence suggests that our evolutionary success and our ability to thrive were dependent on the consumption of animal products. The nutritional density of a meat-focused diet provided the critical boost that enabled us to survive harsh environments and evolve into the species we are today. Without this essential life-sustaining nutrient, we face irreversible neurological damage and eventually death. If you've been struggling with energy, brain fog, or wondering if your plant-based diet is truly serving you, I urge you to consider these facts we've discussed today. It's time to let biological reality be your guide, not dietary dogma. What are your thoughts on B12 in the carnivore versus vegan debate? Let me know in the comments below. If you found this video insightful, please hit that like button as it helps the channel a lot and share it with somebody who needs to hear it and subscribe for more deep dives into nutrition and health. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.